Hi all the students. Today we are going to study communication satellites. So what is a communication satellite? A communication satellite can be thought of as a big microwave repeater in the sky. Now since we are studying unguided transmission media, so obviously whatever communication is happening is happening through the sky, right? So you can think of a communication satellite as a big microwave repeater a repeater which is uh, basically repeating or amplifying the microwave signals in the sky right so a communication satellite can be thought of as a big microwave repeater in the sky what does a communication satellite contain it contains several transponders so you can say that transponders are the key elements of a communication satellite or any communication satellite for that matter now what is a transponder a transponder basically provides the connecting link or communication link between the transmitting and receiving antennas of a satellite. Now all these satellites have antennas to transmit and receive data. So it is with the help of these transponders that the transmitting and receiving antennas can transmit and receive signals. And as we know that the sole purpose of communication satellites is to communicate or exchange signals and it is with the help of these transponders that these communication satellites can transmit and receive signals via their antenna so they can the therefore we can say that the transponders are the connecting links between the transmitting and receiving antennas of a satellite now basically a, trans for a transponder performs the functions of both transmitter and receiver, right? That is it can both transmit the data as well as receive the data. A receiver is also known as a responder. So transmitter plus responder gives you a transponder, hence this term transponder. Now each transponder is listening to some portion of the spectrum. The spectrum has a large portion which consists of various frequency ranges. So each transponder at any given point of time is listening to some portion of the spectrum and then it amplifies the incoming signal. Whatever incoming signal it receives, it amplifies them. And then it re after amplifying those signals, it rebroadcasts them at another frequency. Now, why at another frequency? Because the uh, uh, frequency at which it is listening the spectrum, other uh, signals may also be coming through that particular spectrum. So, just to avoid any in interference with the incoming signals, what it does, it rebroadcasts those signals at another frequency so that there is a fre different frequency range for the incoming signals and a different frequency range for the signals which it is rebroadcasting after amplifying right now the downward beams are the beams that are coming from the satellite that are being transmitted from the communication satellite so these downward beams can be broad as broad as to that they can cover a substantial portion of the earth's subsurface or they can be narrow also such narrow that they cover only an area which is hundred of kilometers in diameter so that means a communication satellite is capable of covering a substantial portion of the earth's surface also and it can be as narrow also such that it covers only a few kilometers or hundreds of kilometers so this mode of operation of a communication satellite that it can cover a substantial portion of the earth also and it can just cover a few kilometers also this kind of operation this mode of operation is known as the bent pipe now satellite communication basically uh, is transporting information from one place to another or any communication for that matter is transporting 
or transmitting information from one place to another between a sender and a receiver but when we talk of satellite communication obviously it is transporting information from one place to another using what using a communication satellite which is in orbit around the earth right so a communication satellite is an artificial satellite if i talk of earth's natural satellite moon is earth's natural satellite right it takes orbit around the earth but it is an orbit around the earth but a communication satellite is an artificial satellite right which is man made so this communication satellite which is an artificial satellite it transmits the signal via a transponder so that's why the transponders are, are a key element in any communication satellite because whatever signals are being transmitted through a communication satellite it is via the transponders how it creates a channel between the transmitter and the receiver at different earth locations now it's quite obvious that the transmitter and receiver are both located at some locations of the earth only but they are different located at different locations so what a transponder does is that it creates a channel between those senders and receivers who are at different locations of the earth and then enables communication between the transmitter and the sender now what are the applications of a communication satellite it can be used in telephones radio television internet and military applications now what is the need to have a communication satellite when we have so many other mediums of communication which are wireless which are also wireless like the microwave communication why because the maximum distance covered by the ground wave and sky wave propagation is just 1500 km so this is the maximum distance which both ground wave and sky wave propagations can use what do you mean by ground wave and sky wave propagations basically ground wave pro pro uh, wave uh, propagation is that uh, propagation or that mode of communication in which uh you have frequency range uh, frequencies from low to medium range and sky wave propagation uses frequencies in high range so basically ground wave and sky wave propagation uses frequencies from low medium to high range and the maximum uh, distance that can be covered by both ground wave and sky wave propagation is 1500 km so which was not enough obviously so this was overcome by the satellite communication so this is the answer to why satellite communication when we have so many other modes of unguided transmission media also so this is the reason why satellite communication was needed because the rest of the uh, ground wave and sky wave propagations could cover the maximum distance of 1500 kilometers which was not sufficient so hence satellite communications were were used now this is a general diagram of satellite communication wherein you have a satellite and then at the earth you have the uh, sub stations which have an uh, with the uplink and downlink frequencies so that means the uplink means the data which is going from the satellite and downlink mean, means the data which is coming from the satellite right usually there is one uplink and there can be multiple downlinks that means data usually uh, from the earth station there is only one such station which is sending data to the satellite but from the satellite data can be received to various stations on the earth so usually there is one uplink and multiple downlinks so how this communication satellites work now let's have a look at this also so basically as i said there are uh, transponders are the key elements of any communication satellite and in satellite communication there are three stages one is the uplink second is your transponders and then you have the downlink so these are the three stages in which a communication satellite works now if i consider the example of a television as i said that uh, communication satellites can be used for various applications like radio television internet military applications so we will uh consider this example of a television right so 
signals which are broadcast from the television on one side of the earth is first beamed up to the satellite from the ground station on the earth right so there is a satellite in the air and there is a station on the earth from where you want to broadcast the television signals right so what happens is that there is a ground station on earth right and the signals are beamed from this particular ground station up to the satellite so this is known as the uplink that means when from the ground station the signals are transmitted to the satellite this is the uplink right so there is a ground station which wants to broadcast uh the uh, uh, broadcast the signals so in that case this ground station first of all sends signals to the satellite right so the signals from the ground station are beamed up to the satellite the this process as i said is known as the uplink next the second stage where the transponders come into uh existence the transponders boost the incoming signals right whatever incoming signal the satellite receives from the ground station they are then boosted or amplified by the transponders right these incoming signals are boosted and then as i said the frequency of the signals which have to be rebroadcasted right this incoming signals come at a particular frequency range and when they are rebroadcast after boosting the frequency range is changed so that there is no interference with the incoming signals so that is there is no interference between the incoming signals and the signals which are being rebroadcast right so the transponders will boost the incoming signals change its frequency so that the outgoing signals are not varied now next stage is the third stage wherein the data is sent to the other end of the receiver on the earth and this is called the downlink so the receivers which v which are v uh, with the uh, with our television sets so then this is the data is sent to the other end of the receivers right receivers are at the other end so da this data from the communication satellite is then broadcast or sent to other end of the receiver on the earth and when this data is being sent from the satellite to the other end of the earth other ground stations this is called down link so this is all about communication satellites in our next video we are going to study the different types of satellite communication